days. How did the the Steve Winwood gig come about? Um, I was working with Mike Lawler. You remember Mike? He keyboard player, and he was going to be Steve's musical director. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever. And I was working on an album with him of my own music, and he's. He said, hey, if you can go home and do every part on Back in the High Life, if you can produce those songs, Back in the High Life and Higher Love or something else, you know, like Low Spark. Valerie. Something like that. He said, bring bring those to me. If you can play every part, then you've got the gig. And I had a studio, and I went home, and I could play all the parts. Certainly not as good as Steve's record, but I was able to do it. And I wish I had the recordings of it because they were damn good. I, I really was proud of them. So I got the gig like that. And then I met Steve, who, unlike Neil, Steve was just really turned out to be somebody that I'd spent a lot of time with personally off the stage as a, uh, just more of a kind of a camaraderie. I went to a lot of uh, parties at his house in Nashville and we would drink beer together and smoke cigars. And, and I went on a couple of, trips with his family to Scotland and the Isle of Lewis on hunting trips and just so many great memories I you know that like I say you can't buy that kind of stuff you know you were there so you were there when like Lily was born and mm -hmm. I went to see Gina in the hospital and Lily had just been born she was like you know 20 minutes old you know wow that kind of thing I knew their whole family. I knew Steve's dad. And, and so, how did the uh, how did the two songs that you wrote on his album come about? From knowing his dad, because he knew that I would go on walks with his dad when we were out on tour, and his dad was with us, and he would love to go walking, and I would go walking with him, just kind of like be with him, you know, make sure nothing happened to him, and also just I liked him. His name was Lori, Lori Winwood, and. He was so smart, you know, I was, back in those days, I guess I was a little bit of a liberal. I was like kind of a person who was like concerned about the world, you know, and the, you know, climate or whatever, believe it or not, me, be concerned about that. But um, I remember saying something about the earth is going to just, you know, it's we're going to be the end of it. And he said, ah, oh, hogwash. He says, the earth, you can't, you, the, the earth will always be here. It's our existence upon the earth that, that you have to worry about. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hey, good point. <laughs> and I went directly home and burned a tire, you know. <laughs> but he was such a smart guy, and, and I loved him. He was he was um, fun to be around. And so that is... That led Steve to, when his dad passed away, Steve had these melodies and this, the music and a melody, and he wanted me, he gave me an opportunity to write the lyrics to it. And mm -hmm. I thought that was such an honor. About his dad. About his dad. And that was which Take song? it to the final hour and, and as I walk. Both of them. Both of them. Or about his dad. Both of them. That's, that's yeah. yeah. And after, I, you know, so he, he flew me over to his uh, place and, you know, and over in England and in the Cotswolds and, Man, that, what you talk about an amazing time to be able to experience going to a, a pub that's been there since like 1400 or what. The Plow was a place we would go to and uh, just drink beers and drink a pint. You know, it's just a, an amazing time. I remember riding in the Ferrari that he had. We took his Ferrari over to the pub and Steve had one of those big cell phones in his car. It was before iPhones. But uh, one day we were riding over to the pub and the phone rings or somehow he picks it up and I could hear it on the speaker and it was George Harrison and he was talking to George, you know, mm -hmm. it's right then, you know, exactly right. Okay, you know, I was thinking, man, I'm riding with Steve Winwood listening to George Harrison. You know, this is an amazing, amazing time. It's just a... That is. Yeah, and I just wish that I would have taken more note of... of what was happening to me, but I didn't. I just kind of felt like all that kind of stuff would just keep happening to me, and it did. 